What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to cover the purposes of various computing devices. Specifically, we'll discuss smartphones, tablets, e-readers, laptops, workstations, servers, gaming consoles, virtual reality systems, and augmented reality systems. Now, each of these devices serves a unique role in modern computing, and understanding them is fundamental to your success on the exam. All right, so let's talk about smartphones. So a smartphone is a handheld portable computing device that integrates the functionality of a mobile phone with the power of a mini computer. And the purposes of a smartphone is as follows. It provides communication. So it is primarily used for voice calls, text messages, video calling, and instant messaging. It also provides internet access and web browsing. So users can access the internet for information, social media, or entertainment. It has an app ecosystem. So smartphones use app stores to download Load applications ranging from productivity tools like email calendars or document editors to entertainment like games music and videos it also does multimedia so it is equipped with cameras speakers and microphones smartphones support media capture and consumption such as taking photos recording videos and listening to music and it can provide navigation it has built-in gps that allows for mapping real-time navigation and location-based services so essentially smartphones serve as a multifunctional tool for communication, entertainment, productivity, and a whole lot more. Next up are tablets. So a tablet is a larger portable touchscreen device bridging the gap between smartphones and laptops. And the purposes of a tablet are as follows. You have media consumption. So tablets are great for streaming video, reading digital books, playing games, and browsing the internet. It also serves mobile productivity. So they can run productivity apps such as word processors, spreadsheets, and presentation tools, making them suitable for on-the-go work. And it also has creative applications so many tablets support stylus input, making them popular for digital artists, designers, and note takers. And also, it provides a platform for education and learning. So tablets are increasingly used in education for interactive learning and reading and accessing online courses. Now, due to their larger screen sizes compared to smartphones, tablets are ideal for activities that benefit from a more immersive visual experience. Now let's discuss e-readers. So an e-reader is a specialized handheld device specifically designed for reading digital books and periodicals. And the purposes of an e-reader are as follows. It allows for you to read digital content. So the main function of an e-reader is to allow users to read e-books, digital magazines, or newspapers in a comfortable format. It has e-ink displays. So most e-readers use e-ink technology to mimic the look of printed paper, reducing eye strain and providing providing excellent visibility and bright light while also being energy efficient. And they are portable and they offer storage. So e-readers are lightweight and compact and they're able to store thousands of books for convenient access anywhere. Now, while limited in versatility compared to tablets or smartphones, e-readers are perfect for avid readers who want a paper-like reading experience without the bulk of carrying physical books. Moving on to laptops. So a laptop is a portable personal computer that includes an integrated screen, keyboard, and trackpad. And the purpose of a laptop are as follows. It provides portable computing power. Laptops are used for a wide range of tasks, from general purpose activities like browsing and streaming to complex activities like software development, video editing, or graphic design. They offer work and productivity. So laptops are popular tools for business education and productivity due to their portability and ability to run full featured operating systems and applications. And they also offer entertainment. So with built-in screens and speakers, laptops are great for watching movies, playing games, and streaming music. So laptops are essential mobile desktops providing significant power and functionality with the added benefit of portability. Now let's discuss workstations. So a workstation is a high performance computer designed for specialized professional tasks. And the purposes of workstations are as follows. They offer professional applications. So workstations are often used for tasks like video editing, computer aided design, 3D rendering, and scientific simulations. They offer enhanced performance. They are equipped with more powerful CPUs, GPUs, and large amounts of RAM to handle demanding computation 
rotational tasks, and they are reliable and stable. So workstations are built for stability, often running applications that require long processing times without interruption. So workstations are perfect for professionals who need advanced capabilities beyond what a typical desktop or laptop can provide. Next up is servers. So a server is a specialized computer that provides data, services, or resources to other computers over a network. And the purpose of a server is as follows. So they host websites. So servers store and deliver the content for websites to users across the internet. They offer file sharing. They provide centralized file storage and access for users within an organization. They offer database hosting and management. Servers can host large databases, allowing multiple users to access, modify, and manage data efficiently, and they offer network services. So servers can also handle tasks like email hosting, authentication, and software deployment. So servers are designed for reliability and performance to provide continuous service to users and devices within a network. Now let's talk about gaming consoles. So a gaming console is a specialized computing device specifically built for video gaming. And the purposes of gaming consoles are as follows. They offer optimized gaming performance. So consoles like PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch are engineered for running video games at high quality with powerful GPUs and fast processors. They are entertainment systems. So besides gaming, modern consoles support apps for streaming video, music, Music and internet browsing, and they offer social and multiplayer experiences. So consoles enable both local and online multiplayer gaming, fostering social gaming communities. So gaming consoles are designed for entertainment, providing high quality gaming experience and other multimedia services. Next, let's talk about virtual reality systems. So a VR system immerses users in a simulated 3D environment through the use of a head mounted display, motion sensors and controllers. And the purposes of VR systems are as follows. It offers immersive gaming and entertainment. So VR systems create fully immersive gaming experiences, allowing users to interact directly with the virtual environment. They offer training and simulation. VR is used for realistic training simulations in fields like healthcare, aviation and the military allowing users to practice in a risk-free controlled virtual space and they offer virtual exploration so vr enables virtual tourism education and exploration of environments that would be otherwise inaccessible so vr systems they provide an interactive and immersive way to engage with digital content offering experiences far beyond traditional screens and finally, let's talk about augmented reality systems. So an AR system overlays digital information onto the real world, enhancing the user's perception of their surroundings. And the purpose of AR systems are as follows. It offers enhanced reality experiences. So AR blends digital elements like images, sounds, and graphics with the real world as seen in applications like Pokemon Go or Snapchat filters. They offer productivity and navigation. AR can be used for practical applications like providing turn-by-turn -turn navigation instructions, identifying landmarks, or offering real-time translations. And they offer industry and training applications. So AR is used in industries for real-time data overlay during complex tasks such as medical procedures, manufacturing, and repair. So AR systems, they enhance the user experience with the physical world, offering information and visualizations that are contextually relevant to the environment. So in summary, each computing device discussed has specific purposes. Smartphones and tablets provide mobile computing for communication, productivity, and entertainment. E-readers are dedicated to reading digital content. Laptops offer portable computing power for a wide variety of tasks. Workstations cater to professional high-performance applications. Servers deliver data, services, and resources over a network. Gaming consoles are designed for high-quality gaming experiences. VR systems are immersive, simulated environments and AR systems, they enhance real world environments with digital overlays. Now, each device has unique features and capabilities that cater to different needs and use cases and making them essential tools in modern computing. All right, so now it's time for our check on learning. So which of the following computing devices is best suited for portability and ease of use on the go, but may have limited processing power compared to a desktop computer? Would it be a desktop PC, a server, a tablet, or a supercomputer?
And the correct answer will be a tablet. So a tablet is designed for portability, offering easy access to applications and the internet on the go. However, it typically has lower processing power compared to desktop PCs or servers. Next question, which computing device is most commonly used in data centers to manage network resources and handle large scale processing tasks? Would it be a laptop, a server, a smartphone, or a smartwatch? And the correct answer is that of a server. So a server, this is a powerful computing device used in data centers to handle large scale processing, managing network resources and provide services to multiple users simultaneously. Laptop smartphones and smartwatches are primarily for individual use and have limited capabilities compared to servers. And our final question, which computing device is designed primarily for gaming and entertainment purposes, often featuring specialized hardware for high performance graphics? Would it be a workstation, a gaming console, a smartphone, or a thin client? And the correct answer is a gaming console. So a gaming console is specifically designed for gaming and multimedia entertainment with hardware optimized for high quality graphics and smooth gameplay. Workstations are designed for professional tasks like video editing and 3D modeling. Smartphones have limited gaming capabilities and thin clients or lightweight devices used primarily for connecting to a server for basic tasks.